plunged into the river and a very good afternoon to all of you. Our view is ever so slightly better watching from the river cam rather than from the angle that James is at. And we're watching the first few intrepid zebra make their way across the river. Uh, my name is Jamie and you won't see me at all. And that zebra has just changed its mind completely. And I don't blame it. Oh, the zebra fight. And heightened tensions tend to ex oops, sorry about that little glitch tend to express themselves in somewhat different ways and the poor zebra overexcited their adrenaline's pumping and they're reluctant to cross for very good reason and this time not because of the lurking crocodiles of the mara river and i mean really those vultures just add to the sinister scene on the right don't they that's very encouraging if you're an animal trying to cross the river. But the reason that they've turned back is a couple of zebra went ahead before that and they got attacked not by a crocodile but by a hippopotamus that was thoroughly put out by the presence of so many zebra wandering through their river. You'd think they'd be used to it by now, the numbers that have come through, the zebra and wildebeest, but that particular hippo was obviously having a very bad day and the zebra managed to just, just jump over it. And I think these zebra have decided that this is not the best crossing point. Perhaps not now. Perhaps they'll wait for the hippopotamus to calm down ever so slightly. Here we go. Everybody turning back. And that, of course, is standard crossing behavior. Backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. Dave and myself sat and watched some wildebeest a bit further to the south of this, where we unfortunately don't have cameras. And we watched them for about, I'd say, a good hour and a half trying to pick their spot. And then one wildebeest would get a fright and the entire couple of thousand of them would go racing off in the opposite direction and then come back again. And I think that these zebra are done now for the moment. Let's see, let's have a look around because, Lou, would it be, do, can we still see the lions on, on cul-de-sac? I don't think we can. I think they've gone wandering the members of the Paradise Pride were gathering to around a crossing a little bit to the north of this. Unfortunately, we can't see them on the cameras anymore. Hello, Zebbies. You poor things. Gather up your courage and then try once again. Checking to see if this perhaps might be a better spot. I would say the poor dead wildebeest over there would suggest it's not. And James, I feel, has already mentioned and focused on the wildebeest carcass for a little while. I think we can move on from that. I read an interesting article about the research that they're doing into the decomposition of these wildebeest carcasses and how they add to the nutrient levels of the Mara River. It's been fascinating. The decomposition of the bones in particular, the slow release of phosphorus, is something that's being looked into. Right, let's jump all the way across from the Mara River back to South Africa and see what Byron has on offer. <laughs> 